I can't see a thing. Oh shit! Hi! What's up guys? Welcome back to Layers of Fear, episode number six. Uh, when we last left off, uh, just got done running around through a bunch of creepy dolls and kid stuff and, you know, all that wonderful, normal, creepy things that kids have and do. Uh, I picked up some hair and the painting has turned into a what appears to be a half-eaten person. So, we're gonna get out of the paint room as normal. Gone. And see where we're at, because I think I've only got like two, yeah, two more things to find, I believe, before this game will be complete, at least the first run through. Um, apparently this game has a lot of replayability because there's a lot of stuff to collect and a bunch of different endings and things like that. Uh, as far as my Let's Plays go, it will just be the one run through. I don't see much point in doing the same thing over and over again on Let's Plays for just the different endings. The ever-changing house. Round and round and round we go. I go ahead and... No, it's locked anyway. Just gonna see if I should go ahead and try and open the door now. Anything on the desk of importance does not appear, so... Damn, it's cool. Getting dark. And now the door is open. Do I want to go ahead and go in here? Or do I want to go around one more time and see what happens? It is definitely an interesting mechanic. How just everything just keeps changing. And there goes the lights. Awesome. The later sees you forget drunk. Oh look. Oh all kinds of things happening. Oh shit. Easy to forget still. Hmm. For each mistake, going in circles. Yeah, definitely going in circles. Okay, so. I think there's anything weirdness in this room. Go out here. House is just going to hell. Restless memories. That door's not interactive either, so yeah, not missing anything by the doors. Well, let me just double check. Oh, so I can open them from the inside but not the outside. That's a little odd. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like we're going through this door next. down here. Thump, thump, thump. Too much interest. More broken things. Continue on around through this door. Grippy. I can 
can see a thing. Oh shit! Hi! How are you doing today? Wow. That was abrupt. Nothing behind me, so... Let's go through this door. Everything's kind of black and white looking. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting some color back. Rat, rat, rat. E. Random stuff on the floor. This room. Alright. Goes the rat again. Follow the rat. Follow the rat. Gotta give me time there, little buddy. Got a prosthetic leg here. Where are you going? This is a very, very narrow hall. This would be considered like, you know, I guess in the old days like servant halls or something. You know, servants can get around in between different areas of the house without disturbing people. Dude, seriously? Friggin' typhoon rat here tearing up the sh damn place. Oh look, picture. Oh, cat rat, what the hell is this all about? Hmm, doesn't make much sense. Oh, hey, we're gonna force you to turn around so you can get scared by something. Alright. You know, that's one thing I have actually enjoyed about this game, honestly, is... There's definitely some parts that have been very predictable, but there have also been a lot of parts that were not predictable at all. Like, I really seriously thought right then that I was going to turn around and there's going to be something behind me. And there wasn't. I'm locked in here. Hmm. Means i got to do something to get the hell out. Oh. Combination. Is that what the hell that picture was about? Or maybe because it's a picture of a dog, I should go for the dog instead. Let's see, two... Okay. D-O-G, come on. D... Okay, two, five... And... Five, nine. Let's try two, five, nine. I guess rat was too obvious. Ah, gotta pull a little latch. Okay, so back into the servants' hallways. Oh dear. Can I get around this or am I gonna have to do something different? Oh, what we got going on here? Bright light. Come on, hop along. Hey, it looks kind of normal in here. Oh, go 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 wigglies. Big wall of text. July 19th, judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he has finally passed out. Undoubtedly surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass 
and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit so that we may all find peace. For if you don't one day, <clears throat> I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know it's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Amen. Well done. She's had enough of his shit. 